Hey guys, we are here with August's My, My Muse for My Creative Year. Uh, I don't think I've had enough coffee for that this morning, holy cow. everybody we're here to talk about what my muse is yelling at me in my head today so yeah that's a thing <sighs> you know this month for August we're talking about style and the challenge is wait wait for it let's see um, yes I'm looking at my list um, worthy holy cow so for me and what I want to talk about, those two go together. So for years, I thought that although I, although I enjoyed being creative and doing art, that I definitely wasn't worthy enough of um, being hung in public, noticed in public, hanging on the wall in my house prominently, like the, that my work wasn't good enough. I felt that way for a long time. I'm over that mostly. So here's a little secret. Some of that never goes away. <laughs> um, but I, over the years, I've definitely developed my own style, and I love my work, and I love painting. Painting is my thing. So, um, And my muse definitely, while she takes short vacations, she definitely always goes back to painting. I'm going to turn the camera around, and I'm going to talk some more while I show you some pieces that are actually hanging on my wall. Let's start with my staircase. So these paintings were made in response to a lesson from Lifebook years ago. And I made three of them um, to start with, and I made two more when we moved into this house. I definitely, while I liked them, wasn't sure they were worthy of being hung on the wall. Um, I definitely have my own style, although there are bits of Tamara Laporte's style in these paintings. I definitely have my own style, probably mainly in the color choices for the paintings in these that you can see some good examples whoops let's zoom back out there we go here are some good examples of three paintings side by side um, that I didn't think necessarily any of them were worthy of being hung on the wall and uh, but they do definitely illustrate a style that I have come to uh, develop and be known for over the years so the one on the far right this one is one of my first pieces I ever did on canvas I still love it, but it's very simple. And there are bits of that canvas that you can tell I was studying Flora Boli at the time, but I didn't quite know what to do with it. Then I started um, painting and learning from Pauline Agnew. If you don't know who those two people are, I will link their websites below. They're both art teachers, and they're both great in their own right. Um, but when I started learning from Pauline, I really preferred her teaching style more, and I really started learning more and developing my own style while I was studying from her. This, um, I learned early on that while I sort of enjoyed doing faces, there was something about doing half face that was less intimidating but also made an interesting artistic statement, I felt. And I do a lot of these sort of Buddha-inspired half-faces now. And then we also do random landscapes. I still do them. Um, that's one of the more realistic ones that I do. And you can definitely see, one thing you can see in all three of these and the paintings in the staircase is there's definitely a color theme or there's a definite voice in the paintings that you can tell if you know me and you've been following me, you know who painted these by just one glance and looking at them. We're on the entranceway to my art room. And while I might have taken a vacation from my standard color theme, I think you can still see in this random collect, well, I didn't do that one there, but <laughs> you can see in this random collection of paintings my hand or my voice, I think. There's a style to them. Although they're more realistic than some things I've done, they're still not completely and they're a bit abstracted. Paintings like this one. Now I did this one for a photo shoot for Yahoo Small Business. It definitely has my voice in the color and composition. 
I think that you can hear my voice and my artistic style screaming in this painting very much. I love this one actually. Those are just a few of the paintings I now have hanging on my house. I have gotten over the idea of expecting approval from others. If you get it, that's great. I love my work. I'm the one who needs to feel worthy and confident in my work. I need to listen to my own voice and develop my own style. Copying others' works when you're learning and studying is all well and good, as long as during that process, you're figuring what it is about their style that you like and what that you don't, and incorporating the things that you like into something that's uniquely your own and expresses your own voice. Like the Tamara Laporte paintings, I really learned that I dislike paint over collage. <laughs> but at the same time, there was something about working with layers of um, semi-transparent or transparent fluid acrylics um, over other marks in the background and um, adding other marks with paint pens and and markers to a piece that really did appeal to me. So that was a learning experience in its own. So what I want you all to go out this month and do is I want you to um, find your own voice. I want you to find your own style. I want you to feel worthy about your work because you are worthy. And um, listen to your muse when she's telling you, God damn it, your work is just fine. <laughs> I like your work. It doesn't matter what they think. She's wrong. She's right. She's not wrong. So anyway, so that's what my muse is um, screaming at me this month um, to really feel worthy and, and accept myself and less about waiting for acceptance from others. I know this is a departure from what I usually talk about, but I think it's an important to, um, conversation nonetheless. Uh, my muse is really generally all over the place, but she does enjoy paint. That's her number one thing. And even when we take little vacations from paint, we always go back to paint, always. And she always reminds me that, you know, you're worthy, your style is wonderful, we enjoy it. It doesn't matter what people think. And she's not wrong. So I want you to listen to that voice, listen to what she's saying to you, and try to learn and grow from that. And it should be, you know, a constant, fun, creative, learning, growing experience. Um, hopefully it is for you. I know it is for me. Anyway, that's it for this month. And um, I hope if you are following over in my creative year, creative year that you're um, sharing and participating and lending a voice and that you're enjoying the process. And if you're not, that you're letting us know. If you're not part of my creative year over on Facebook and you'd like to be, the link is in the description below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you could uh, support the free content here on YouTube or you want to follow me on social media and see what I'm up to every day creatively, um, there is a link tree link in the description below. When you click on it, you're going to get a big list of all the places on the internet you can find me. So click on that and check it out. Um, and the most important thing is to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.